One area we get asked about very often is Riverview, Florida. So out on the east side of Tampa, pretty big suburb. Let's get into it. Sam and this is the Living in Tampa channel where we make these videos for you about what it's like to live and move to Tampa. If you have any real estate needs in the whole Tampa area, we would love to win your business. We have a team of realtors here to help you. You can call, text, email anytime. We would love to help you. There, there's all kinds of reasons why people ask about Riverview and we'll, we'll get into a lot of those, but I want to stick with the Tampa explained structure, which is proximity, style, size, and cost. So we'll follow right along like all those other videos did where we actually talked about this area, but we talked about it in kind of a bigger sense. So we're gonna go Riverview in those categories, starting with proximity. And, and proximity is really the like location, location, location thing that is so important in real estate. And that's why it's first, it is the most important thing. Where are you on the map? What are you close to? What are you far from? Okay, let's look at it. So Riverview out here, just to the south of Brandon, just to the south of Highway 60, it runs right along I-75, and then goes out to the east toward Lithia, toward Fishhawk that we've talked about. You see the link up above if you wanna check out Fishhawk. I've made some videos about that. So Riverview, when you look it up, it just shows one zip code, but it's actually four zip codes. And this happens a lot in the Tampa area and probably all over the state, probably all over our country, where it's like this one part of Riverview is like an incorporated town. And then these other three zip codes have Riverview addresses, even though they're not managed by Riverview, like city council, they're managed by the county. And it's confusing because you look up the population of one of the zip codes and it says there's 20,000, but then you look up the population of Riverview and it says there's 95,000. That's because they're adding together all of these zip codes, not just proper Riverview, but greater Riverview it makes up that 95,000. And the difference between a town of 25,000 and 95,000 is pretty dramatic. 95,000 is a pretty big town. One of the things I like to talk about with proximity is distance to very specific things. The airport, downtown Tampa, Clearwater Beach. Not that Clearwater Beach is like the best beach, but it just kind of, kind of gives you an anchor of how far the beach is. We'll probably talk about some of the southern beaches with this one as well, because they might actually be a little bit closer. Those are the main things when it, when it comes to proximity, what I wanna talk about. So starting with the airport. The airport is just on the other side of downtown Tampa. So you have to kind of drive through downtown downtown-ish, and that drive is going to take 30 to 50 minutes, really depending on traffic. And we'll get into the, the traffic problems of this area in a little bit. So next on the list, downtown, and we talked about you kind of have to go through downtown to get to the airport. So it's shorter to downtown. Downtown's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes, also depending on traffic, really depending on traffic. And also depending on where you live in Riverview, where you're starting from in Riverview, because it is a pretty big geographic area. If you're out on like the Bloomingdale outskirts of Riverview, like almost to Fishhawk, it's gonna be a very different drive than if you're like right on I-75. So these directions are kind of starting from like right in the middle of Riverview, which is not that far from getting on a highway, really close to 301, kind of where this is starting, you can see on the map. Okay, distance to the beach. Now this is maybe not important to you, but it might be distance from Riverview between an hour and two hours. And you see like this can just fluctuate so much based on traffic. And this map isn't even showing that much traffic right now. This could get way worse. So actually the drive to St. Pete Beach might be a little more predictable from Riverview because you'd be going south, down through Waimama, down through Parrish, down like kind of by Bradenton, and then you'd come up the Skyway Bridge. St. Pete Beach has been ranked one of the top beaches in the country recently, and it's it's a beautiful beach. It's one of those big, like wide, expansive beaches, though. So if if that's not your kind of beach, then there's there's other options. You might like prefer something like Anna Maria, which is a little further south, and it would take about as long to get to Anna Maria as it would to get to St. Pete Beach. I really like Anna Maria because it feels kind of like a small town. St. Pete Beach is usually packed and it's popular for, for good reasons, but also I, I just like to avoid some of that. But all that to say, it's pretty far from the beach to live in Riverview. If the beach is important, there's other options that are, are way, way closer. Okay, next on the list is style. Style in Riverview is pretty simple. 
it's a lot like the rest of Tampa, but there's a lot of kind of suburbia vibe. And some of that's good, some of that's bad. Some of that is, is are, you know, there are nice big lots like in Bloomingdale. Some of it is pretty packed in some of these newer developments. You can see from some of this footage, like it just gets a little bit crowded in some of these. And once trees grow in around these houses and stuff, it'll feel a little bit nicer. It'll feel a little less brand new, but there are some new developments out here. And if that is the style you're looking for, then it's there for you. A lot of the people that live in the Riverview area commute to other areas, whether that's into Brandon or that's down to St. Pete or that's into downtown Tampa. It is a very like commuter area. So people live there, they commute, they come back, and they just live there. And that creates kind of a particular vibe, but it also creates some traffic problems. Because this area has grown so quickly and accommodates so many people, it just has crazy traffic. And not crazy like New York City, not crazy like Cairo, that's the worst traffic I've ever been in. But it's pretty intense. Oftentimes I'll send people out there to explore a little bit when they visit and it'll get ruled out just because they get stuck in traffic and like they're like, wow, it took me an hour to go 10 miles. Like uh, there's no way I could live out here thinking that that might happen at random times. Now, if you're not super dependent on commuting, whether that's, you know, getting your kids to a certain school or it's commuting to your job, then th those factors might not be as big of a deal to you. And that's where this area could come in and kind of feel different to you. As we get into size, I wanna just address something I brought up before that the Riverview feels kind of congested. It mostly feels congested when you're on the highway. A lot of these neighborhoods aren't like all packed in together. Some of them are a little crowded, but they still have the ponds and they still have the green space around them. And then as you get further out toward Fishhawk, as you get further away from everything, it opens up even more, where you have neighborhoods that have big houses on big lots, or even just odd shaped lots where the house doesn't sit like perfectly square, where you can like reach your neighbor's house. There is a lot of that out there toward the east. It's funny, I hear locals talk about Bloomingdale as if, as if it's like this podunk area, like, like it's filled with ranchers or something. To me, it seems like a pretty nice area. Now there are the occasional like farms out there. there. There are some big estates, estates is kind of a nice way to say it, where people have horses or things like that, but it still feels pretty suburban, like unless you're from like, you know, a big suburb already. And even though Riverview is 100,000 people, it connects to Brandon, which is another 100,000 people. And those areas connect pretty seamlessly. So where I live in Tarpon Springs, it connects into Palm Harbor completely seamlessly. Like most people don't even know you've, you've changed towns. Riverview and Brandon are the same way. Like they just connect and you don't quite understand like where they connect and which is which. So even though you look it up, it says Riverview's 25,000 people in that one zip code. You look a little further, it's 100,000 people, but actually it feels a little bit more like 200 or 250,000 people because of these towns it connects to. Okay, now the last criteria is cost. The cost in Riverview is often what is attractive to people on the forefront. It's a little more of what, what you expect with a starter home in Florida. You can find houses in the three and four hundreds right now in 2023. And those are often newer homes as well. You can also find houses far north of that. We have a few clients that have looked at houses out there in the mid 600s. And those are like four bedroom houses with a pool, like move in ready, nice houses. But often when you're thinking of low prices in the Tampa area, it's going to be out in this area especially compared to the northern suburbs like Wesley Chapel, Lutes, Land of Lakes. Those are a little bit more expensive than the Brandon Riverview area in general, but I think you pay for that in some ways. And we'll do some more videos about this area, kind of like a pros and cons, we'll do some comparisons, and you'll see what I mean of like why it's cheaper and then why the others are more expensive, what you get access to with all that. I'm curious what questions you have about Riverview, about this whole like east suburb area. You know I'll keep making these videos for you and I'm excited to see what you think and any questions that you have. And if you have any real estate needs or questions, we would love to earn your business. Give us a call, text or email anytime and let's see how we can help. Thanks for coming by.